Okay, this, this is weird. It's spreading like a virus or something. That's Nipper, of course. And this is his friend, Clayton, who has apparently been infected with the desire to bang on hot metal. This is awesome. Uh, we've been working on our knives a little bit, but I thought since Clayton was over, we'll do a little videotaping and, uh, and put it up on the web. I just realized I said videotape. I don't think either of these kids are old enough to even have seen a videotape. <laughs> Okay. Hammer flip redeemed. Okay. I kind of heated up the wrong side. I'm just going to. You see those lips that were forming right yep. there going over? Still got it on that side, see? Should I straighten that out or try? My dad, he's going to be working on making a bevel. Alright Mark, what is it you're doing with it now? 
just flattening it out, getting it ready for grinding stage. Okay. That's what I got for mine. All I've got left really to do is do the grinding and that will do tomorrow once we cool this down and everything. I put a little bit of a, of a lip right there. Just drew this out. Gave it a little bit of a taper on the top but not much. So yeah. Okay, what I've got, I've got the blade drawn out. There's a, there's a little bit of grinding I'm going to have to do to it. And I managed to put a little bit of a twist in the tang. I just want to take that twist out. And there it is. Okay, so what we're going to do with these two blades, I'm going to stick them in the kiln, in the uh, oven, forward. <laughs> uh, we're going to get them up nice and hot, turn the forge off, Put a piece of kale wool over the front to trap the heat in, let these cool down real, real slow. Then tomorrow, I think we'll be working on grinding, uh, grinding some more of the, the profile on these blades. One last thing. I've heard of the concept of the knife disappearing into the forge. And what that means is that the knife has come up to the same temperature as the forge and its orange blends in with the background orange of the forge. And uh, if I knew exactly what the temperature of this forge is, that would be useful. But right now, I'm, I just look at it as a kind of an interesting phenomenon. Okay, I thought I'd give a little explanation for why we're doing this. Um, Brody, shut up. Get in there. Play with your friends. What I did was I got these pieces of metal up past non-magnetic. Up past, I think they call it the Austin type temperature. Basically what that means is I got it very hot. Um, I suppose a good way to explain it is loosened the, uh, the crystalline structure a little bit. And if we let it cool down very slowly, then when we pull it out, that metal will be annealed. It'll be essentially as soft as you can get it. That's going to make the process of grinding and filing the final profile much easier than if I tried to work with a, a hardened piece of metal. So we're going to anneal it overnight, then tomorrow come back, do some work on the grinding and, and sanding machines, get more of a profile, and at that point then we go through a different heat treating process to harden and temper the blade. Right now we're annealing the blades.